All right, YouTube, it is Mr. Mean coming at you this fine Sunday afternoon. This is a pre-recorded video. We're just trying to get ahead of the game. Today's video du jour is Titan Effect, the role-playing game by Knight Errant Media. Um, this has been on my radar for a while. I picked this up on Drive-Thru RPG right before they did their price hike. Uh, if anyone from Drive-Thru RPG is watching this, you guys are killing your business with this price hike. I, I know you may not have much control over it, but find another means. Find find a way because uh, I know it is tapered my spending expenses uh, and, and habits because your stuff is too expensive. Uh, I'll wait for it to show up on Amazon, and if it doesn't show up on Amazon, I'm not going to buy it. I'll buy the PDF. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe they want to just straight, go to a straight PDF uh, format. I think there's better ways of doing it, but neither here nor there. This has been on my radar for quite a while. Uh, the art in here is fantastic. Uh, this is, you know, that almost like a digest comic book size uh, hardback. I believe it's a hundred and hundred and forty pages with a, a backsplash page, which is a copy of this cover. I got the regular edition. I did not go for the premium uh, edition. It does come with a comic uh, that kind of prefaces what you're getting into here. Uh, this uses the old Savage World uh, rule set, not Suede. So if you're looking for a super spy game that uses suede, this is not the game for you. I do believe on their drive through RPG page, they have a conversion guide, um, but the book, as of this printing, which I just got this a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago, has not been updated. So, uh, Knight Errant, I hope you guys can address that and, and get up to speed. Uh, it'd be nice to get, you know, a current rule book that uses the current rules. Uh, that's a pe big pet peeve in my book. You know, now I got to go break out my old Savage Worlds book. And if you're like a lot of a lot of gamers, you don't have space, so you got rid of the old book because now you're doing the new stuff. So let's get on it, Night Aaron. I hope you guys can address that and uh, and and uh, update the book so that future prints uh, will show accordingly. And of course, you can update the PDF whenever you want so and as far as i can tell that has not been done if i'm wrong please correct me down in the notes or if you're from knight Aaron publishing uh reach out and let me know i'll, I'll do a happy uh, retraction video to state that but aside from that little niggle of uh a pet peeve of it using the old savage world's rules which, to be honest, in the grand scheme of things, I'm fine with uh, because I haven't upgraded any of my Savage Worlds games to Suede because I haven't played Suede yet. So I don't, I don't, it's not, not a big deal to me. But I know there's a lot of people out there that like the latest and greatest and they want to use, uh, you know, the most current rule set. So uh, that's out of the way. Uh, what do you get for your 140 pages? You get a. Uh, well, first of all, you're going to need, obviously, the old Savage Worlds rule set, and you're going to need the uh, uh, Supers Compendium, which is getting hard to find. So, you, of course, you can get it as a PDF, but if you're grognard like me, you want a physical book. Um, I'm lucky enough to have it, but I did see on Pinnacle's website that they are upgrading the uh, Horror Compendium and the Superhero Compendium uh, to Suede. So very excited to see that. Well, I will pick those up when time permits. Even more reason for Knight Errant to get this updated to Suede rules. Enough said of that. Um, so you will need uh, the core rules and you will need the superhero compendium in order to use this book. Um, other than that, it is pretty self-contained. There is a comic in the beginning. Uh, it's quite, it, you know, it sets the tone for the game. And then your introduction and, uh, you know, welcome to Spear. Uh, special Executive Assault and Recon, but everyone just calls it Spear. Um, Spear works, uh, you know, this is... How do I put this? This is modern times, maybe a couple of years in the future, but not very far into the future. There's no lasers. There's no pew pew. There's no, uh, you know, uh, aliens or anything like that. You can add that in your game because it's Savage Worlds. And let's face it, Savage Worlds, we can do whatever we want. That's the joy of Savage Worlds. But what's nice about Titan Effect is it's a, a spy game. So it's all about being covert, not leaving a trail. Uh, of course, your players can play it however they want. If they want to go in guns blazing and your GM is cool with that, then that's that's the kind of game you run. Uh, but, you know, there's other games that do that slightly better. But what's neat in here is you have um, all kinds of cool stuff. Psychic powers, uh, uh, nanotech, 
uh, and that's why you need the superhero companion. Uh, you uh, you have uh, bio augmented soldiers, which are basically guys, ba- basically werewolves, bear, were bears, um, and it's a super secret, uber secret, you know, top secret society of agencies that were formed after uh, during World War II to fight the Nazis uh, by the British government, and then of course when the war was over those founding fathers of what became spear decided there's still a need for this organization so they went underground and they are they exist till today and you get to play one of those super soldiers with either super cool psionic powers or you know being able to turn into like a werebear or a werewolf um not a werewolf per se but you get to Gen- you you've been genetically altered for lack of a better word. you're a werewolf or a werebear those are the two uh, number one uh, uh, versions that are super you know augmented and work really well there's other ones there's like a cheetah and they you get some options character creation is pretty straightforward but you definitely want to do the the character operative out of the book you don't want to just you know do your your presumed savage worlds you know, a D4 in every attribute and then, you know, your, your D4 starting skills and then move up from there. You get specific, specific skills as a spear agent. Um, and then edges and hindrances, it has some requirements and things in order to, to make the most out of this game. And, uh, they even give you a Titan effect skills list. So their skill list is slightly different from what's in the standard savage worlds. Uh, there's a whole bunch of gear, whole, whole bunch of edges and hindrances, uh, of course, they tell you some that are um, not, not available in here and so on and so forth. Some new hindrances, which we all love in Savage Worlds, uh, you know, things to uh, make it better and or worse or, you know, whatever, uh, more flavor for your game. Uh, and then you have archetypes. Now, this is what I really like. You have a combat telepath, demolition expert, field investigator, infiltration specialist, intelligence specialist, marksman operator pilot point man tech expert and then they go on to give you let's see here one let's see if i can count these out real quick one two three four five six seven eight they give you eight archetypes which uh of varying capabilities uh that are spear agents so if you want to get to running this game right away you can you can photocopy these or if you buy the pdf which i recommend you do i have the pdf as well as the physical book um you can print these pages it's a it's a one page dossier basically it tells you everything about that character so you know whisper mcmillan uh she's the team leader she's uh based on it she's her nationality is u.s it gives you a background um and gives you all of her attributes um nothing's amazing all of her attributes are a d6 her skills are, are, you know, these are novice-based characters, which is kind of cool. Um, and then you go from there and you build your character. Uh, Joy uh, Lau, aka Ghost, is an infiltration specialist. He's based out of his uh, nationality is Chinese, Hong Kong, and then it goes on and gives you everything. So that part is super cool. Um, the what I really like about this book is, at least for me as a GM, what drives me nuts is I have all these cool ideas. And then I've got to I've got to find a way to make them work, right? So I've got a great idea for a bad guy, and then I build my story around that. And now I have to try and figure out how to make that bad guy to fit in the rules. They've kind of taken care of that for you. And what we would call a bestiary in any other uh, RPG, they call it a watch list, which is super cool. Um, the thematics in this book are very solid. I love the layout. I love uh, the prose that is written in. Uh, they do a very good job of it. Um, and then your watch list just gives you, you know, mundane criminal criminals, a spook, um, uh, Kiri's uh, biotechnic. You know, these are the the guys that have been augmented. Um, a- Akihilo series. Uh, these are like underwater specialists. But you can see uh, it's this guy uh, right here. You know, is kind of a fish like and reptile like uh and uh you know uh, i mean manticore these are obviously variants uh there's your your werewolf your cheetah and your werebear uh these are mostly bad guys uh neotherian thope uh wolf um there's another agency uh, i won't get into it too much but they're basically the antithesis of spear uh and they are out to make your life hell 
uh, and you know fight you at every step of the way. Uh, the uh, the uh, Typhon organization uh, and the Directorate uh, are secret organizations. Secret organizations for you to go up against as your GM can you know plot stories and adventures around that. This is um, obviously your st- Savage Worlds, your standard Savage Worlds mechanics with psionics and basic superpowers. So that's where the psionics comes from. Uh, but of course, you know, you can, you can, the nice part about Savage Worlds is a bolt can be a psychic bolt, can be a flame bolt, can be an electric bolt, you know, so on and so forth. So uh, that's the joy of Savage Worlds. It's very uh, flexible in its game design and its game mechanics. And so. I'm hoping to run a game of this uh, pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to have to go over the suede conversion. I believe it's on the drive through RPG. Uh, you can pick this up via drive through RPG. Use my affiliate link. It's down below in the doobly-doo. Uh, but this is a winner, guys. That's really well done. And I would seen this for, whoa, gee, I think it was 2018 this was produced. And it's been on my radar ever since. Uh, yeah, 2018. And I, I picked up the demo kit, and I was I was really jonesing on it. And then, of course, Rifts came out, and the, the new you know Deadlands and everything. And so it just got put on the back burner. And I was going through my wish list the other day, or a couple of weeks ago, and I I saw this in, it and I was like, oh wow! And so I just pulled the trigger and I bought it, and it came in the mail. And like I said, um, the book is it's color. It's not on the super glossy paper or anything like that, but uh, the art is very consistent. Uh, the layout and the theme of the book is very consistent, uh, which is a big, huge pet peeve for me. Look at that. Tell me you don't walk into a warehouse like that and tell that's not creepy. You know, you don't want to run into those things. So it gives you a, a whole background on Ares and a couple of the other companies. Uh, Ares is the company that kind of works with the, uh, the Olympians to, to help you out. Uh, there's other organizations, uh, the Yakuza, uh, Order of the Holy Mystery. They are great. You want your re- religious zealots? You've got them. Of course, a, a huge two-page spread on Typhon, uh, which are like the number one bad guys, along with the Directorate, uh, which also gets a two-page uh, spread. So the book is laid out really well. I like that they have these uh, along the very top of the book. So you, if you're flipping through the book, you can get to the section you want. Uh, you know, the director is the GM, uh, you know, and then you can go into the operative section. And once you get into the operative section, you can see it's highlighted. So uh, new rules, uh, like in this case, uh, psychic surge and hacking. Um, I personally would probably dump in the hacking rules from interface zero. Um, even when Pinnacle tells you to go use interface zero's rules, you know they're good. So I, I think uh, I haven't read the hacking rules in here. Um, but it doesn't appear to be nearly as extensive as it is in uh, Interface Zero. So I think the Interface Zero rules would be better, and that's the joy of Savage Worlds. Uh, if the game is written for Savage Worlds, pretty much everything's going to work. You shouldn't have to do too much tweaking. So the guys over at uh, Night Errant Media, you've done a great job. This is a buy in my book. You guys knocked it out of the park. Uh, it's created, designed, and written by Christian L. Nome. Uh, and co-written by uh, Gislin Bonet and Daniel Irmid, Irmau, Irmard. I hope I said those right. Uh, the layout and design and the gear chapter was by uh, Jason Theralt. And then the cover is by Randy Vargas or Vaganisi. Uh, any, either way, amazing. The art is really sets the tone in here. Um, a lot of gamers buy, buy RPGs because the art catches their eye. If you have a chance to flip through this, do yourself a favor. You're probably going to wind up buying it. It's it's nicely done. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, I, I, I'm a huge fan of werewolves and werebears. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that because uh, I want to run. And I like kind of like the more action-oriented G.I. Joe. Um, I think, you know, if you're a big fan of G.I. Joe and you're not, you don't want to wait for the new D20 experience or whatever it is that Hasbro is coming out with, I have a funny feeling it's not going to be good. Um, <clears throat> this would make a good G.I. Joe. You could do pretty much everything in G.I. Joe. You could do with this book and the Supers book and, uh, and you know, the core rule book. I hope we see an update to Suede uh, in the physical book. So if you see this in your local game store, make sure that it has the Suede logo because I believe this is the old Savage Worlds logo. So... Uh, officially licensed that's the licensed logo so 
it uh, it does say inside that you need the Savage Worlds rules, uh, but it is not this book itself. The one I physically have that I bought off a drive through does not have the suede rules in it. Uh, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, we'll just give the blurb off the back. Uh, An espionage science fiction RPG. The world is not what it seems. Ordinary people haven't realized how strange and dangerous it has become, but things are about to change. Psychics and bio-augmented humans work as spies and soldiers on behalf of criminal organizations, private military companies, and secret societies in a covert war that has been raging for decades. Some are fighting for control and power, while others seek to shape the future of human evolution. In the middle of this conflict stands the worldwide clandestine organization known as the Special Executive Assault and Recon, or SPEAR. Its mission to track and neutralize biological and psychic threats and to prevent the world from falling into chaos. To fulfill its mission, the SPEAR hires people with unique sets of skills possessing powerful psychic abilities. Its agents come from different nationalities and backgrounds. Some are there to make a distant, a Some are there to make a difference, others to taste adventure, while some have no other place to go. Titan Effect RPG is a campaign setting that requires the Savage World's core rules and the Superpowers Compendium. You think you can make a difference? Find out now. Titan Effect. So, yeah, uh, this is a win in my book, guys. Uh, Like I said, I, I really dig the art. I love that piece of art on the back. Get the glare off of there. It's pretty solid. Um... And I, I think the tone and the atmosphere that you can set in this game is going to be a lot of fun. If you're into that, you know, Cobra, G.I. Joe, you know, any of that stuff like that, uh, paramilitary, you know, secret organizations. If you're into spies, you know, James Bond and that stuff, this you can do all of that in here, you know, cool gadgets and everything. And then you can add psychic powers, you know, that kind of thing. So kind of the sky's the limit in what you want to run. You could run it as a pure superhero game because it it has that ability. Uh, and you could run, you know, if you're a huge werewolf fan, uh, Werewolf the Apocalypse, you could, you, this is pretty much all your stuff right here you need. You, you could go nuts with it. So it's got some versatility. I think it's really cool. I'm excited to see it. I want to get it to the table. Uh, I think this might be one that I run in Foundry uh, with some of my uh, Discord players, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll have to double-check the Suede conversion, make sure it's up there. Uh, if anybody's checked or has it, let me know for sure down in the notes. I appreciate all the comments. Uh, that's pretty much the end of the review. Go out and buy it. I think it's worth it. I think it's a you know it's that perfect size fits real nice with the new Savage Worlds, uh, or the old the old Savage Worlds uh, uh, book. Uh, so it's solid. And the superhero compendium is the same digest you know comic book digest size whatever you call it. Um, so we're gonna get to some housekeeping. Thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe. Uh, let's uh, let's check. And see, I think we're up to 936 followers, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I'll double check there just to make sure. Um, bear with me one second. Uh, let's see here. Go to my account. 937 subscribers. So we are 63 subscribers away from a thousand so i hope we can hit that number this year in 2021 uh it's been a great year uh the channel's doing well uh we're getting content out we have a live play of, or not a live play we record our sessions of the fallout rpg the new one from modifius the 2d20 system uh we just put up episode one uh last two uh last wednesday night We'll have another episode this Wednesday if everything goes well. Uh, super excited. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I have four amazing players. I'm very excited to, to be running the game for them. They are definitely into it, and we are, we are looking to have a lot of fun. So if you can check that out, you know, give a like and a subscribe and a thumbs up on the videos uh, for the Fallout. It's in its own channel. I created a, a sub-channel off of Mr. Mean Speaks called Mr. Mean Plays uh, and it's uh, Fallout. Uh, I am also streaming uh, 
Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars MMO. Um, there's no set schedule. I stream whenever I can, uh, usually for anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour, roughly. Sometimes they go a little over. Sometimes they're a little less, but not much. I think we're up to five or six episodes now, and I'm basically playing a light side Jedi and I'm going through uh, the story arc, and I'm also doing a number of the side quests because a lot of the playthroughs I see are uh, only of, like, the main quest. They're just running through it to get to end game as fast as they can, and some of the side quests are really good. I've played a number of Jedis and Mercenaries and stuff, so I wanted to play something different that I hadn't really played, and I have to say I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. So if you like uh, MMOs and you like Star Wars, it's definitely worth the watch. I don't talk a whole whole lot on it um i make just some basic commentary um i let the uh voice acting come all the way through i try not to talk over the voice acting so you guys can kind of hear the story and see what's going on uh so i hope you guys enjoy that if you do you know give it a like leave a comment i try to answer all my comments uh as much as possible uh, let's see, housekeeping out of the way, 937 subscribers, I'm on a thriving Discord channel, feel free to pop in there, There'll be, there's a permanent link down in the doobly-doo, uh, so that you can um, come in there and chat if you want to chat about, you know, RPGs, tabletop games, if you want GM advice, you want player advice, um, we have a thriving community, we also have a Patreon, um, my Patreon is real simple, it's $5 a month, it gets you into a random drawing about every month, every other month, uh, whenever I get extra books or whatever uh, from designers and developers and stuff, I auction, I don't auction them off, I'm sorry, I do a random drawing and I send them to you at my cost, you don't have to pay anything, your 5 bucks a month uh, gets you into that drawing. Um, overseas shipping is just stupid crazy right now, so I do have a number of Patreon members that are from the overseas, so you're sadly excluded. I, I am sorry, uh, but um, if I can get a PDF of the game, I'll send you the PDF because uh, I, I, I want to make everybody inclusive, and I enjoy... I enjoy doing that, and uh, it's one of the little perks for being a subscriber. The other thing, being a subscriber to the Patreon gets you is first choice on any online games that I am running. Um, three out of the four players are actually subscribers, uh, you know, and Patreon members. So they, they got first dibs to my game for the Fallout game. So that is awesome, and I appreciate them. Uh, and, uh, you also get a special, special designator on my discord channel that shows that you are a Patreon subscriber. Uh, so everybody knows that you're supporting Mr. Mean and all the craziness that I do. Um, if you are a game developer and a publisher and you are officially published, say on drive through or through a company, you have a, an imprint, uh, and you want your products reviewed, it's real simple. Shoot me an email, Mr. Mean speaks at gmail.com. And I will, uh, I will endeavor to uh, contact you and we'll work out either a PDF copy. I prefer physical copy, but I also feel bad about, you know, these budding game designers forking out their hard earned money uh, to send me a physical copy when they're just trying to sell books. So uh, PDF copies are fine. Uh, we prefer physical because it gives me something to show and hold up. And as you can see, I have quite the library back here. So anyway, I think that's about it. We got Discord. We're on PayPal. Pay me if you just want to send a one-time donation or Zelly Pay if you're in the U.S. Uh, Zelly Pay is banked into your banking account. Uh, but uh, Patreon is probably the best way to go. Uh, I have a merchant shop on Redbubble. Uh, it's nothing amazing yet. I'm trying to get some artistic people to um, fiddle with my logo so we can make some cooler looking stuff like some t-shirts uh, and things like that. But I am on Redbubble under Mr. Mean Speaks. So feel free to check that out and you can get a mouse pad or whatever with the Mr. Mean logo on it uh, or a coffee cup if that's your thing. And the prices are relatively uh, inexpensive. So I hope everyone's doing well. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, this will get posted probably, uh, Monday or Tuesday, uh, early this week. Uh, and I'm just trying to create a backlog of videos so that I can get content posted every week. Uh, a lot of times I go a week without posting anything just because life is hectic as we all know. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and the motor words of Dave Tootie thumbs, if you liked it, subs, if you loved it, uh, and then, of course, Mr. Matt Coville, you know, all the notes are down in the doobly-doo. Uh, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Peace, love, and hair grease. And remember, Mr. Mean says to be nice. Take care, everybody.